another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to work with scraping PDFs, talk about some tools, and I'll demo some tools that will help you scrape data tables out of those nasty, ugly PDF files that none of us like to have sent to us uh, by PIOs. Now we've talked about data scraping in other training videos, mostly with uh, scraping from web pages. And I did talk a little bit about in one video about using tabula.technology to scrape data out of a PDF. But today we're going to explore some other tools that can help you scrape, uh, oh, maybe a scanned PDF or uh, PDFs that aren't uh, quite as easy to dig uh, information out of. Um, so all of these links that you see here, and I'm going to go through them one by one, uh, are also in the description for this video on our YouTube page. So in the YouTube uh, description, you'll be able to see all these links. Um, the first tool we're going to play with is tabula.technology. This is a very popular one among the IRE and NICAR crowd. <clears throat> they like it because uh, you can uh, download it to your desktop and scrape sensitive documents there and enjoy some little better privacy than what you would have. Uh, if you were loading your PDF up uh, to a browser-based tool, such as PDF to Excel or Comet Docs, which are both listed here. Um, PDF to Excel and Comet Docs are very good, though, at scraping scanned PDFs. Tabula will do it, but it takes a little extra work. PDF to Excel and Comet Docs will scrape those PDFs uh, that have been scanned in uh, and uh, uh, download it for free. Uh, in a very quick way, so uh, it's really nice. There are paid versions of PDF to Excel and Comet Docs, uh, but that's for hosting and batch processing, you know, if you're doing a bunch of PDFs all at once. But if you just need a PDF uh, scraped quickly, uh, PDF to Excel or Comet Docs work really well. I do have some other uh, scraping tools listed on this bit.ly link uh, handout. It's a little exercise on scraping uh, uh, data off the web and out of PDFs. Uh, and also this other longer link, um, which is again linked off of the description of this video, uh, to our uh, find and scrape, uh, find, uh, scrape and clean data uh, uh, webpage. It's in our data journalism uh, vertical of the journalist toolbox. So let's play with some of the tools here uh, for uh, a little bit. Tabula.technology you can download for Windows or for your Mac. Um, it's safe software. It'll run off of your hard drive. It'll allow you to scrape both native and uh, uh, native PDFs and PDFs uh, that are scanned in. Um, I'll open Tabula up, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's uh, much safer scraping off your desktop than it is loading something to the live web. When you open Tabula, and you can see my uh, uh, little menu bouncing over here to the to the upper left in the upper left corner. Uh, it'll open up uh, through your applications folder um, and uh, uh, it'll open and launch in your browser. So you'll see there's a local IP address here. Uh, it's uh, actually running off your laptop computer right now. Um, so it's much safer than if you, you know, you're moving the document that you're going to scrape out to the live web. Um, so I'm going to scrape uh, a document. It's very easy. This tool is very intuitive to use. It even has instructions up here at the top. Uh, I can click on Browse, and I can go find, uh, oh, here's a PDF of Nevada Voter Registration Stats. It's just a single page PDF with a what we call a table in it. Uh, and I'll hit Import, and, and we'll watch the data load in here. And once it loads up, uh, it'll still be in PDF format, but you can actually take it uh, then and scrape it by highlighting what areas on the document you want to scrape. Uh, so as you can see over here, just a single page, and you know, this is this little grid of data that I want to put into cells on an spreadsheet so I could sort and filter it, do something with it. Um, I could just paint across it, highlight across it right here, and select what I want to scrape, and there it is. Or I can go up here to auto detect tables. Let's say I had a page that had, oh, 90 pages with 60 tables. I don't want to highlight each one of those. I can hit auto detect and it'll select the tables for me. So once my table is selected, I just go to the upper right hand corner and hit preview. What it'll do is it'll convert that PDF into a table. Um, and we know with web tables, they are scrapable by hitting the export. And I'm going to export it as a CSV file, comma separated values, basically a spreadsheet. There's other formats that I can choose as well. 
I'll hit export and then it will download to my desktop um, or to, you know to your uh, downloads folder uh, and it's always labeled tabula so you can see here it's tabula and it goes with the file name Nevada voter uh, registration data and I'll open it up in Excel here and you can see we've got a nice clean spreadsheet I'll delete out a couple of rows here uh, and then just uh, clean it up a little bit and there we go we've got a nice clean data set you can sort and filter it you know if I wanted to visualize it you know whatever I wanted to do with it um, so you know there you go that's as simple as that tool gets um, now you can go back to the home page by clicking up here in the upper left hand corner where it says tabula and I'm going to show you a scanned PDF this is a PDF that's been scanned from paper uh, and it's the uh, Clinton Foundation's Form 990. This is a good tax document here. Uh, and it's got some really uh, interesting data in it. If I try and hit import with it, notice it says, stops me and says, sorry, your PDF is image-based. I click OK. It tells me to go to the help page. Uh, and it walks me through some steps here. You have to download some software, some optical character recognition software, OCR software. Open and close it in that file and then run it through Tabula so you can scrape it. However, if it's just a small file, you know, and you just want to scrape it quickly, um, a, a better way to do it is to use pdf to excelcom Now, if it's not a sensitive document, because you are loading this document up to the live web, uh, you can go in and grab it. And again, this is scanned. It'll do native PDFs too, so I could scrape the Nevada voter registration stats as well. So it'll sit here and it'll take a little time to convert. Uh, once it's done, it'll have a little free download button here, a little red button, and I'll download it to my hard drive. Um, that, that's one of the uh, disadvantages of having, you know, a, uh, uh, a free tool like this is, you know, you're going to have to wait for it to process. Uh, you know, the paid version, if you go premium, uh, it'll do uh, no waiting in the queue. It'll do batch conversion, so you can move a bunch of files through at once. Uh, the premium version of this runs for about five bucks a month. So if you are doing a lot of scan PDF uh, scrapes that are, you know aren't sensitive data, uh, you can uh, definitely uh, afford that five dollars a month uh, and, and use it. If not, just use the free one. Kind of hang out and let it convert for a little bit uh, while you're off doing other things, um, such as Comet Docs. Uh, this one works very similar to PDF to Excel. Uh, it also has a, a uh, PDF to Excel uh, app version uh, as well in the App Store and Google Play Store, so you can download there. Uh, it has very similar and competitive pricing uh, on uh, hosting and, and scraping, you know, batch PDFs. Um, it'll do all types of file conversions, you know, it can convert it from PDF to Word or PowerPoint or Excel, whatever you want. Um, and you can just drag it, you know, right in here uh, and it'll do its work. So, you know, something to think about. Uh, so now uh, our PDF to Excel uh, is done downloading uh, or done uh, uh, converting. I'll hit free download now uh, and we'll open it up. Uh, this one will require a little bit of cleaning, um, but uh, at the same time, uh, it uh, you know doesn't take nearly as much time to do that than it would to rekey it or something like that. And uh, now you've got your document. I'll open it up. And there's our Form 990 with all of this data in it. I'll blow it up a little bit so you can read a little, a little easier. Um, and there's, you know, just a lot of text in here and, and stuff you don't need. Uh, but if you scroll down through the document, and I always look through the PDF first to kind of see uh, what it is I want. Um, uh, and here it lists uh, all of their employees uh, that have, uh, and contractors that work with them and how much they're paying them. Um, they do pay their board members. Um, you can get down here into, you know, where some of the expenditures are going. This is a nice little table right in here. Uh, you can see where they're spending money, uh, where the money's coming in from. Uh, Form 990s are full of great information. Um, so it'll scrape native PDFs as well. Um, you know, if I just go back and, and reload this, um, and then I hit upload, and I'll bring in that uh, Nevada voter registration data. And this one will convert as well. It'll move pretty quickly because it's a small file. But, you know, again, you've got other people loading stuff in here. So it does take some time for it to come through. Hit free download. 
and you've downloaded your PDF. And it, you know, it does you know, a, a really clean job, just like Tabula does. Um, so you know, it's, it's nothing that you really have to uh, you know, do a lot of cleaning with unless it's you know, been something that's scanned. One thing to remember about optical character recognition software, uh, software that you're uh, using with a scanned PDF, is sometimes those files uh, will come through pretty dirty. Um, and you know, here's your, your Nevada voter registration data. Um, because uh, you know threes look like eights, ones and sevens look alike in optical character recognition. Uh, so you know sometimes you're going to need to go back and really check a number closely uh, to make sure it converted it properly. Um, so again, um, there's uh, more uh, on this Bitly link. Uh, Bit.ly/spjdatascrape has all kinds of different data scraping exercises and tools that you can use. Uh, you also can find a lot of uh, data journalism tools here on journalisttoolbox.org. Um, if you go to our uh, data journalism section, um, it uh, has a lot of different uh, resources, graphics uh, tools, mapping tools, as well as the scraping and cleaning data section uh, that has a lot of really cool tools, not just for scraping web pages and PDFs, but also for scraping social media accounts as well. Uh, so there's a lot of these tools, you know, there's PDF to Excel right there um, that are listed there as well as some training videos, including this one. Um, so that's all I had for now. Um, uh, good luck with the scraping and let me know how it goes.